Do you want more bells in your pockets and bank account? Do you feel like you're always running around low on funds? Well, this video will give you tips I used not only to pay for my own house, but my family members as well. It includes changes since the 2.0 update, so whether you've just started or been playing for a while, stick through the whole video to ensure you don't miss anything. There'll be nuggets of goodness scattered throughout. Hey YouTube, it's Alexi Giovanni here to help you get some of those hard-earned bells. If you're new to the channel, welcome! You'll find a ton of Animal Crossing related videos, so hope that this is the first of many videos that you'll watch. Question for you in the meantime, how many bells do you think I'm sitting on here in this flower farm? Leave a comment and stay tuned to find out. The answer is somewhere later in the video. The best way I've found to get ahead in the game from a bell's point of view is to spend the first 10 minutes that you play every day doing your daily chores. Items in trees and rocks reset every Animal Crossing day, so what I would do is scour the shores for all the wash-ups, which these days include gyroid fragments. And as you do this, keep a watch for fish shadows and throw your rod in for large shadows. You're looking for red snapper or barred knife jaws. Snappers are available all day throughout the whole year. As a daily habit, you can choose to spend 1000 bells on the chance of some luck with Katrina before you hit the rocks. If she finds that you've got luck with money, you'll gain an extra 10,000 on your island money rock. How this works is the 100 coin is replaced with a 10,000 bag of bells. Next thing to focus on are bugs and trees. Look for the paper kite butterfly as it gives you a cool 1000 bells each. Did you know that every day you can catch up to 3 wasps which are worth 2500 each? Just be sure to be prepared with your net. You're also looking for 2 pieces of furniture which you can keep or sell off. If you've just started and looking to make some bells, one thing I'd recommend is to ensure that you've got the bell boom ordinance in play. This is new since the massive 2.0 update and only the mayor or island representative can do this. It'll set you back 20,000, but it will give you 20% extra on anything that you sell. Don't worry, you'll quickly make that back. Each day, Nook's Cranny will have hot items listed on the front board, which allow you to sell things for twice their value. So I'd check to see that you know the recipe, and if you do, get crafting. Remember, you get the DIY from your villagers, so be sure to visit them whilst they're home. I'll leave a link in the video on this very topic in the description and at the end of this video to check out later. When you first start, you'll be absolutely riddled with weeds, which don't sell as much as selling items crafted from them. These raw materials sell for only 10 bells each, which will sell twice as much if they're crafted. So here are a few of the crafted leaf options. However, now since leaf is so much easier to access every day at Harv's Island, you can save yourself the hassle of crafting by just selling to him for twice as much at 20 bells per weed. As you know, each island has a native fruit, and if you're not sure or forgotten, this is how you do it by looking at your passport. As you can see, mine is the cherry. There are 5 regular fruits plus coconuts. The native fruit only sells for 100 bells each, but if you can source the other fruits, they sell for 5 times as much at 500 bells each, and coconuts will sell for 250. I definitely went overboard when I first started the game with massive orchards, but I've since settled on 3 trees per fruit in this formation. I like it because it allows me to get quick shaking to them and collecting them as they fall in this nice pattern. One tip when villager hunting is to keep a watch out for the fruit islands when the fruit is not your native fruit. The reason is that each one you dig up gives you a grown tree, saving you 4 days of waiting for it to grow into a tree from a buried fruit. But you get 3 fruits straight away. This means you can cash in on the fruits of your labour. Yeah, that pun was intended. And then it's just a short 3 more days for your full grown trees to bear fruit again. What I did was took the fruit and planted even more trees, which was money in the bank. After 4 days, I'd have tons of fruit. Each day you get 3 fossils to unearth. Once you've completed your museum, fossils are a great source of money, which I tend to hoard near my museum and then bulk assess them with blathers. Before long, you'll rack up those bags of bells. Along with 3 fossils daily, you'll also get a glowing spot to find, which itself gives you 1k of bells. The trick is to put 10k back in, as this will give you 3 times back after 4 days. 
To keep a constant flow of money, I make a mini money orchard, which I keep rotating my trees. It only takes a small space on my island in this format. And as one grows to maturity, I chop it down and replace it with the nursery tree of that day. It's the circle of life. A method of getting money more frequently every two days is through rare flowers. These can be rather lucrative, particularly those hard to get blue roses and purples. Blue and gold roses are worth 1000 bells each, whereas the green mum, purple tulip, hyacinth, windflower and pansies, plus black cosmos are worth a reasonable 240 each. And with some quick maths, that gets you 3.4k. And it's worth mentioning that you get double the price when you pluck your flowers and dig up the plant. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of the video for how to breed these hard to get flowers. These are subject to the 20% increase for bell boom ordinance, so make the most of it. Blue roses are normally worth a thousand bells each, so each will sell for 1,200. Handy. Seeing bell signs in your eyes yet? Well, you can get twice the value of the blue roses by crafting them into wreaths or crowns, which takes up to 2,000 bells each petal. 2,400 with the bell boom ordinance. All the more reason to learn those DIYs. At the start of the video, I'd asked how many bells I was sitting on. Well, let's find out. Keep in mind the bell boom ordinance is in effect right now. And there's your answer. A bit over 100,000 bells. And I can do that all again in two days when they bloom. Just like fruits, they are also a great source of income. These five crops were introduced for 2.0 and they complement the existing four colored pumpkin. What's great about these crops is they can be placed in a very condensed area, unlike trees. Each crop is worth 350 each, which is a pretty sweet spot given that there isn't one considered a native crop for a given island. If you're curious on how Timmy and Tommy are stuck against the wall, I'll leave a link in the video description and at the end of the video. Ah, I've got Nook's Cranny all to myself. Crafting crops into things like flour and sugar are worth less, unlike crafting weeds. Sell weeds crafted, sell crops raw. I'd recommend trading rusted parts since they're rare. Gyroid fragments are worth 414 each and gyroids are worth twice the fragment price at 828. Vines and glowing moss aren't worth selling, so keep hoarding those. They're great for crafting as well. On villager hunts, look for an island that looks like this, which is Money Rock Island. There are six rocks in the middle, which you can access by breaking the first rock worth 8k. Each rock gives you 16.1k, so when you mash the rocks to well enough, you'll walk away with... Still on villager hunts for a moment, I'd recommend going after 7pm so that you can possibly get Scorpion or Tarantula Island. The island looks like this, and these guys are worth 8,000 bells each. Even more at 12,000 if you sell it with Flick, who will give you 50% extra. I usually hoard bugs and fish that are a thousand bells or more, otherwise I just sell them at Nook's Cranny. CJ also gives you 50% extra. Of course, I'd also recommend to have a model made from the tarantula or scorpions that you catch, but here's how much you'd get if you'd give Flick 30 creepy crawly tarantulas. Not a bad haul, hey? The stalk market is by far my favorite way to make bells though. Daisy May sells turnips every Sunday morning before 12 midday. Her lowest price is 90 bells per turnip, which I usually buy when it's 95 or less. The idea is that you're meant to check with Timmy and Tommy in the AM and PM every day, except Sundays. I've been very unlucky to turn any major profit in my own local stock market. However, your best bet is to find others in apps like ACNH Exchange, ACFAN, and the website Turnip Exchange. Usually you need to tip which ranges from bells to nook mile tickets, but it's well worth it as you can get prices in excess of 600 bells per turnip. Keep in mind, even if you're not trading in turnips, if you ever get 300 plus offers from Timmy and Tommy in your own island, this is an awesome way to get some bells. People will flock to your island when you host. I'll leave a link to my videos on the apps that I use at the end of this one. The tips in bells will vary depending on which island you visit. I've been to ones where they ask for as little as one bag of 99k bells, but it can get up there to five bags or multiple Nook Mile tickets. 
One last thing which I've covered off in a previous video of mine on Treasure Islands. If you've got Switch Online and find people with a modded island, you can trade a single batch of 30 turnips which will yield a max of an insane 999,999,999 bells, essentially making you a billionaire. Note it does come at a cost. You'll lose one of the achievements that you might have already earned. What do you think? Is it the price you're willing to pay? Thanks to my channel members for your ongoing support and making videos for you. I'd recommend these videos on screen next which includes learning DIYs to get your more DIYs for hot items, tricks on how to catch and avoid wasps, this video shows you how to maximize the crop growth to give you more money, and finally a walkthrough of apps that I personally use for hosting and finding islands to visit. It's great for the stalk market. This is Alexi Giovanni signing off and until next time, see ya!